how to apply third party themes and avoid the theme reset issue on MIUI 11 without having to root your device. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install third party themes permanently on your MIUI 11 device and how you can avoid or stop the theme reset issue on MIUI 11. What is this theme reset issue? The theme reset issue is where and if you apply a third party theme using a third party application, then after 30 minutes, the theme resets to default. This is very irritating and frustrating. However, we do have a workaround for this now without having to root your device and without using any third party application. What are the things which you need? The things which you need are an internet connection on your device, an application called Mix Explorer. The APK for that can be found in the description of this video. And you need the third party theme which you need to apply on your MIUI 11 device. Other than that, you also need to be super fast like a ninja because the process can get frustrating at times. First things, we'll go into settings about phone as you can see i am running me ui 11.0.4.0 based on android 10 on my poco f1 next thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then go into apps manage apps here you need to search for the themes application once you found the themes application click on clear data clear all data click on ok once that is done click on the home button next thing you need to switch over to three button navigation you cannot do this process if you are using the gesture system so how do you go back to the three button navigation you go into settings and then you go into additional settings look for full screen display you will have full screen gestures enabled all you need to do is select buttons next thing we'll have to set up a shortcut for one of the buttons to kill the current application so we'll go back and then we again need to go back into additional settings button shortcuts and here you need to look for close current app it will be set as none make sure you set it as long press the home button menu button or back button whatever you are comfortable with i am comfortable with long press of the back button so that is what i have chosen what this does is it kills the current application if i long press the back button so here it is it first closed the mix explorer application before we get down to business we need to make a few changes in the mix explorer application as well so open the application and then you need to click on these three lines at the bottom go into options make sure that show hidden globally and show hidden recursively both those options are checked also check the show full long names option once that is done we'll go into settings go into themes tap on themes at the bottom and then tap on the search bar on the top and here you can search for a theme which you know is large enough in size i know of a diwali theme which is pretty large in size and make sure the theme is free so let me see if i can find that theme for us i think this is the theme i'm not sure however what you need to do is when you tap on free it will start downloading the theme so you'll get downloading then you will get importing as soon as it says importing that is when you have to long press the back button to kill the current application in this case i just let it slide through because i was talking to you peeps but we're going to try it again with some other theme so let us go into this diwali theme and then we'll just click on free as soon as we see importing we have to long press and kill the application okay so we missed it this time i told you it can be pretty irritating we're gonna try it one more time maybe just maybe we were finally successful it was getting to the point where i was about to break my poco f1 just like gary broke his monitor when he was playing one of those games anyways once you are successful in killing the themes application while it is in the importing stage you need to open the mix explorer then you will go into me ui then you will go into theme you will go into download and yes we were successful so you have 
a temp folder inside that you have another folder which has the preview and stuff if you go back you have this dot mtz file so you will have this dot mtz file in this specific path if and only if you were successful in killing the themes application while it was in the import stage what do we need to do next so we will tap on it that is going to open the contents of this theme and next thing you need to click on is the button on the bottom right tap on it it will select all the files then tap on description.xml it will deselect that file and then what we need to do is tap on the delete button and then confirm what happened here is that we deleted all the files other than description.xml now we will go back and then you need to go back to the folder where you have your personal or your third party theme in my case i have this theme called abstract art so i will tap on it it's going to open the contents of this theme and then you need to click on the button on the bottom right it will select all the files then tap on description.xml to unselect it once that is done you need to click on the copy button which is right beside the delete icon and on the left of the cart so click on copy it will copy the contents which we had selected next we will go back and then we need to go into me ui then into theme then into download and then into this .mtz file and then you need to click on this paste icon tap here it is saying copy not started just tap on not started and it is going to paste all the files which we had selected over here next thing we need to do is we need to apply this theme which we stopped while it was importing an important thing to note is that the preview will still show the theme which we had imported or which we had killed while it was being imported so we'll go into settings themes go into my page click on themes and wait for this circle to finish it said downloaded successfully which means the theme which we had killed while it was importing is now imported successfully the theme which we had killed while we were importing is the ios setup theme as you can see the preview is still from that theme but when i click on apply it's going to apply our third party theme so here is the preview of the theme these are how the icons and wallpaper looks like but the theme which applied is the abstract art theme which is our third party theme we can also lock our device and here it is this is how the live wallpaper from this theme looks like so you know a very frustrating process very irritating for me personally it took me around 30 tries if you have a better way faster way of doing it do let me know via comments below and there it is peeps that is how you install third party themes permanently on me ui 11 and you can also fix the theme reset issue without having to root your device and without having to use a third party application shout out to whosoever came up with this way a pretty dope way in my opinion and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you